a town on the French Riviera, right at the border of Italy. And as you can see, the view from behind me is absolutely stunning. We're about to climb to the top. Um, there's a cemetery up there and I believe a church. I may be wrong, but I am so excited to be here. Uh, this is the closest I could get to Italy for now, but let's go explore this town. I take back about what I said about perfect weather because we were trying to get some shots by the beach and it is so hot in the sun I am like dripping in sweat and poor Paul has to carry around the backpack so he's my even... back is in sweat yeah it's really bad <laughs> uh, I think it's because there's no clouds right or there's no clouds today so it's really really hot but it is just so beautiful here um, this town is actually known for like their citrus and it's funny because all of the buildings here are in like citrus colors like grapefruit and lemon and orange um, but it's a really really beautiful town now I can't wait to go explore inside the town because we've just been on the outskirts so let's go see uh, the little stores and we need to find somewhere to eat too yeah. for lunch up those little streets it's amazing I don't know if you can tell from this video how beautiful the street is but this is our new favorite village Walking into town, it's absolutely stunning. There is so many bright colors, which I love. Um, as you can hear, the church bells are ringing, so we're getting closer to the top. It's just an absolutely amazing view. The ocean's right behind me, and then as I look up, there is the church and just so many beautiful bright colors. Uh, can't wait to get to the top. taking a little break on this bench and it's just Very hot. so quiet here and so peaceful yeah it is pretty warm out even though it's 75 degrees and that's really nice weather it feels but like there's it's 90. there's no clouds and there's no breeze so we're hot and sticky but it's just so peaceful here i do think this is another one of my favorites <laughs> I think this she is... She says that on every single video. I know, because it, everything, it's so different. This town is so different. Um, By experience, I'd say this really looks like Italy. It doesn't look like France to me yeah. at all. Yeah, so I would have to say Lormarin and... Uh, and this Menpon. town? I keep, keep forgetting. I like Moustier. I think, I, I love Moustier too, but <laughs> Lormarin, something about Lormarin has like my heart. Mm -hmm. But being here, I don't know. This might take the top, actually. <laughs> You're silly. Why? We found it. 
cemetery, so we knew we needed to go uh, and visit the old town, check. We uh, needed to find the church, which was closed, check. And the last thing we need to see, I guess, was the cemetery. And we climbed up and we made it. So let's do that. And then after that, we need to find something to eat, something to drink, and relax a little bit, because I'm done. I'm so done. So we made it to the top. We are now at the cemetery. It is so peaceful here and the view is just amazing. Um, I guess there is uh, someone that's buried here that is the founder of Rugby. It's quite a big cemetery, so I don't know if I'll be able to find his uh, gravestone, but I'm going to go look for it right now. walking out of the cemetery now and I couldn't find his tombstone sadly but I definitely recommend if you um, visit Monton to come here and uh, look because there's a spectacular view and it's just a very peaceful place to be. It's so funny because usually when we're vlogging or anything like that, like usually you have people staring, but there's actually all these birds up here are staring at us. It's kind of funny. We have an audience. <laughs> the food! We found the food! I'm ready. So we found a place to eat, uh, Le Lido. Uh, this man was very helpful to find something on the menu for me. So on the menu there's gnocchi with pesto and basil, but uh, the pesto has cheese in it, so he's going to do tomato sauce for me. And Paul, as usual, is getting his uh, margarita pizza. And we got some drinks, I'm getting a cocktail, and I think Paul is probably getting a beer. But I'm excited to eat. margarita just like in the last vlog you guys saw <laughs> it's all I eat and so far it's pretty good it's actually very very tasty mm. not the best pizza in the world but still really good very very good you could tell the tomato sauce is homemade and the gnocchi is so so good and I really appreciate that when we asked to eat here that the man was super helpful on um, getting us something to eat for me because other places aren't as helpful but he was really trying to accommodate us so I really appreciate that and it's delicious. I killed it. Can't leave anything on the plate. I need a piece of bread to like, you know? Get some on my door. Alright, so 
So like I said, Monthon is known for their citrus. Also, 310 days of sunshine here. So uh, because of the climate, um, they are able to grow citrus trees year round. And you'll see a lot of like uh, shops that have uh, citrus stuff. So we're about to walk into one and see what they have in the store. started walking uh, into the town where all the shops are and they had this awesome store called Au Pays du Citron. Au Pays du Citron. Au Pays du Citron. In the land of lemons. And I got a bottle of limoncello. It so was so the, good. The guy came with like little like taste test and she got sold right away. But I, mean, I wanted more. <laughs> um, and it tastes so good, I guess, because you're supposed to freeze it. Um, and then it's a digestive. So we just got done eating. So perfect. <laughs> and uh, then we were walking further down and we came upon a bakery. I got myself a melon pan. So this has nothing to do with menton. It's not French. It's not Italian. This is a Japanese delicacy. And I'm a huge fan of melon pond. And back in LA, when I was going to Little Tokyo, which is like the, the Japanese neighborhood, I used to get those all the time. And I can't believe I found one in France. Let's see. Mm hmm. And it's pretty good. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> We're both happy people. <laughs> so we need to go take a thumbnail picture now, a little behind the scenes. And it is super hot on this uh, little promenade and it's actually called Promenade of the Sun, I believe. <sighs> and that sun is just beating down on me, but we need to get this picture. <sighs> the ocean behind me, guys, it's so beautiful. Look how bright blue it is. <sighs> I'm in heaven here. Heaven, every single vlog. Heaven, heaven, heaven. So we just walked that promenade again, and Paul said, actually, you're right, I think it's a better angle from the other side. So we just walked all that for nothing. <laughs> He's giving me the evil eye. <laughs> so now we're walking to the other side to try and get a picture. <sighs> the work. today's video guys I really really love this place I cannot wait to come back um, they do have a lemon festival every February uh, so I definitely want to come back for that it's kind of like the rose parade but it's all made with citrus so we are definitely going to be coming back in February if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one bye